Hello Capricorn and welcome to Truth Were Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We're looking at August 2023. I'm going to stick to the ones that have fallen on the table. Which are a few. So we have the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. Health. Some situation that needed resolution will be resolved and healed. Consider careers in the medical field, massage therapy or any healing work. It's time to replenish your energy and fully energised to prepare for what's next. So we have health. We have luck. Your luck is about to change for the better. You could get a lucky break, some financial breakthrough. Anything you do now will be very, very prosperous for you. So we have the four leaf clover luck. I'm going to pull you a fortune card. Let's see what we have for Capricorn, please. We have transformation number 32. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life and become the person you want to be. Let's pull you an angel card. I'm going to pull from the Archangel Michael deck. Message for Capricorn, please angel spirits guides, money career finances only. I have number nine, don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. I mean, we're doing money career finances, but we will see how that fits in the message. All right, let's see what we have. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Message for Capricorn. Oh, I love that coming out in your reading. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn for me in the Minor Arcana. Male or female, this is likely you. As your overarching energy, doing what you do best. Grounded, patient. Taking it all in your stride. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is also a very successful sign in terms of money. We have the Four of Swords. The Devil. Page of Swords. Two of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. And we have the Page of Cups. Oh, I do want to draw your attention to the Devil because... The devil is actually the card of Capricorn in the major arcana. So this is an energy here, Capricorn, that you understand there's a, a sense of savviness about this. Um, you understand how to dance with the devil and win. Uh, so there's a strong energy here of, of fully understanding what might not be serving you right now and understanding what you need to do to ring in the changes. So let's see what we have. Devil energy can be sometimes repeating negative cycles of behavior. It can be a behavioral pattern that doesn't serve our highest good. Uh, it could be a difficult boss, um, teamwork, a company ethos. And it becomes more and more of a thing, you know, whatever that thing would be. 
And I feel certainly with this situation here, Capricorn, the Seven of Pentacles, it's causing you to look at your options, take stock, evaluate whether you're happy in your current space or whether you want to ring in some changes. And that's the energy here. So I want to, um, I'm going to pull a card for the Queen of Pentacles because there is an element of success with the Queen of Pentacles energy. She's very financially successful, abundant, stable, secure, understands how to bring that sense of growth and prosperity into her life, male or female. So this is the energy that you have adopted. I feel that you have taken some kind of taken stock, looked at your options because something's not serving you. <clears throat> we have temperance, which can be a card of balance. Bottom of the deck, I've got the empress. Yeah, and beneath that, I've got the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's a sense here, Capricorn, understanding what you need to do, your approach. And this is to embrace that sense of healthy environment, healthy um, money career situation. Uh, again, the people who you spend the most time shape who you are. Being with positive people, Queen of Pentacles, the Empress energy, really don't like anything less than that positive energy, you know. Um, generally, there's quite a, a positive attitude with kind of like... Um, uh, Queen of Pentacles energy in terms of she understands how to bring growth, positivity, stability, healing, a healthy, healthy attitude, healthy environment, surround herself by the right people, you know, the right situation, nurture things to bring them into growth and fulfillment. All of this kind of thing is your energy. Now, the temperance is a card of, pa uh, is a card of patience, but it can link with Slowly but surely, things being brought back into balance in some way. And I feel that this is to do with your money, career, finances. The Nine of Wands is signalling that you're one step away from new abundance. Because the Empress can be linked with that new sense of abundance. New money, new abundance, uh, creation of something new here. And again, the Nine of Wands, it looks like you're, you're nearly at the end of a process. And again, this has been quite testing. The Nine of Wands is, you're nearly at the end of this process, though. Something is almost over where you're kind of breaking those chains, I feel, with whatever this devil is. It feels a sense of cutting cords here. Because something made you take stock and evaluate. What's serving you, what's not serving you now? Sorry, Capricorn, there was someone at the door. So I just want to kind of bring your attention to this because, again, the, the Four of Swords is um, I'm weighing up. I need to make some kind of choice or decision in how I need to move forward here with the situation that I've talked about. Now, you know, we can also have devil energy within us. So, again, if this is an external thing, <clears throat> it can sometimes be I need to take stock and evaluate my current situation, is this where I see myself long term in relate in career or am I ready to make some changes? And it can also be with the seven of pentacles and the devil. Am I keeping myself stuck? Am I keeping my enslaved? And knowing that maybe it's time for change. It's time to look at something that I haven't looked at, but I've been keeping myself stuck in a situation because I haven't done anything about it for whatever reason. I mean, these can also be the energy as well. We can sometimes have devil energy within us. And it can also represent, if it affects us directly, it can also affect 
things that have become too much. So again, if it's not a, a negative influence, a place, a person or a situation, it can sometimes be uh, what has become too much. It could be the drive to work. It could well be, um, you know, the long working hours. So whatever the scenario is, you're taking stock and evaluating and looking at your options here, Capricorn, uh, because I feel that you're deciding to look at something that you haven't looked at yet or you might have put off for some reason. This is the energy here. Now, I really want to bring your attention to the Page of Swords and Page of Cups because I really like these together. I feel you're going to get something unexpected and it could even be quite a nice, refreshing, um, you know, it can be a bit of a surprise, the Page of Cups as a message. It can actually be quite uplifting. But uh, Page of Cups energy in, <clears throat> for me, in money, career, finances, it can really have effect on our emotional state. Uh, so there's definitely a feeling here of if you are looking at your options, if you are looking at, you know, what's available to me, you know, uh, and, and looking at that and exploring it, I feel you might get a nice surprise. It could well be from a recruitment agent. You could even be, again, with a page of cups connecting to somebody in your network that you like, you know, that you get on well with, that you might have worked with before. Or again, somebody might be, a friend might be giving you some advice in terms of where there's an opening as well so this just feels like there's a refreshing surprise that when you look at your options there is something very positive here because I feel these messages or this message coming in um, it feels in this scenario here Capricorn it gives you a chance to walk away the eight of cups is walking away but walking away to something better so let's see what, and I feel it's new abundance. With the Nine of Wands, you're one step away. It's showing in August that you're one step away from, from, from walking away. But I feel that spirit is kind of showing how this is going to play out. Um, maybe into September even, a little bit into September. This is an energy of luck is on your side. I feel for your own health, for your own well-being, um, whether it's emotional, mental, Again, if a drive has been taxing or, you know, a journey has been taxing or long working hours or whatever this scenario is, or again, not a nice working experience, the message still remains the same that you're, there's something coming in, but I, f I feel that there's a refreshing surprise or something unexpected a little bit. So let's pull a card for the Eight of Cups. The Two of Swords. Knight of Swords, yeah. Okay. Page of Wands and the Six of Swords, yeah. I feel that there's news coming in and you need to weigh it up. Again, the Two of Swords is weighing up something uh, because it's, it's whether you stay or go. Remember, there's things that are attractive about the devil things that we like about devil energy, which is why it might well be that you haven't looked at this before. With the Two of Swords here, with the Knight of Swords, it feels like there's going to be some kind of conversation and you need to make some choice or decision in what you do next. Now we have the Six of Swords and the Page of Wands. Six of Swords is actually about moving or relocating. It can be about moving from A to B as well. So moving from one job to another, with a page of one starting something new, very good in terms of good news to do with new opportunity coming in. I feel that there is going to be some kind of decision here because something is going to come in unexpected and you need to decide whether you stay where you are or whether you walk away. But I feel that there is an opportunity here to move from the source of this issue, whatever this devil is, and detach from it, break those chains you know because it there's something about perfect timing that luck energy um i feel that there is something about perfect timing now again this could have affected your relationship it might well be that um however this don't, don't give up on love it can be about what you love or doing what you love as well <clears throat> it can also be if you're departing a place of work, this devil might give you some kind of tempting offer to stay, you know, with an apology, a promise of change. Whatever the scenario here is, 
uh, Capricorn, it looks like you're going to be faced with some decision. And really with the Two of Swords, we already know, deep down we already know what to do. The Two of Swords is very instinctive. It's not really making a decision with the mind or even with the heart. It's actually trusting your instinct to guide you forward in the situation. It's about thinking less and feeling more. So that's what I have for you. But I will say... There is that sense here with the Empress energy. Uh, this is new. This is creating something new. That's available to you. It's, it's whether you, you want it or not. Again, <clears throat> the Nine of Wands, it feels like uh, whether you've been tested and you're ready for change and you're hoping that change is going to come in, but you keep on persevering to make it happen. This can be the energy here, Capricorn, where... It feels in this scenario something new is going to come in, but there is going to be some kind of choice in terms of what's really attractive about that devil energy versus the new. And you're being told, do what the Queen of Pentacles does. Choose the healthy, um, the healthier option that will bring you that sense of, of groundedness, stability, financial abundance, security, um, and growth, you know, that's the energy here. Where do you see yourself growing? So I bought these cards. Uh, it's the love deck. Uh, it's a few days ago, but I'm going to use them for this reading because I do like the messages. So that will be something additional that comes out for you. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel spirits guides message for Capricorn. I'm going to choose because they do tend to stick together. I will not compare myself to others. Be happy for this moment. This moment is your life. That's lovely. All right, Capricorn, let's pull you a final card. Money, career, finances for Capricorn. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Capricorn. We have Chameleon, Soul Tribe. It's safe to be seen. And it's interesting that that's coming out with this, you know, with the Two of Swords, because the Two of Swords has a blindfold on. And with the Chameleon energy, this can actually be... Sometimes we don't see what's right in front of us, right? So it's about looking at the reality of the situation here. Um, and again, the chameleon energy can sometimes be dealing with a situation here where a person or a place may promise you that change is going to happen. Um, but deep down, you know, are they just putting on a front? You know, is that the real intention? You know, this is the energy here of of what what what's seen versus unseen. So however you deal with that, we have crane surrender. Let go of limiting beliefs. Be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. That's what I have for you, Capricorn, for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.